Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy, Dead Metal, back. If you're new to the channel, I am the world's biggest Pokemon fan. Yo, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Are you as excited for Pokemon Legends Arceus as I am? I know. I can't wait for this game. I've been... <laughs> I can't go any longer with that, man. <laughs> I can't do it. We all know Pokemon's a joke. We all know that you've been buying the same game year in, year out, decade in, decade out for over 20 years, bro. How pathetic. <laughs> How pathetic do you have to be to one be a Pokemon fan in 2022, all right? That right there, that's absolute virgin status for life, okay? Complete neckbeard. And then two, on top of that, believe that this shit they're showing us in the trailers is in any way, shape, or form representative of the end product you will receive. You think the game's gonna look like that? You think the game's gonna play like that? You think the game's gonna innovate? Why would they innovate when they got clowns like you who buy the same game twice every year? Why would they go to the effort? <laughs> <laughs> I can't with the Pokemon fan base. These idiots think that Game Freak is out here innovating. Bro, they put together a formula in, what was it, 94, 95, and they haven't changed it since. You think now, all of a sudden, the creative flair has been sparked in them, and they want to revolutionize gaming? <laughs> Dude, I can't stop laughing. I'm on the Pokemon subreddit right now. These fucking nerds are excited for this shit. Like, they are going all out, man. They are unzipped. They got their Kleenex. They got their lube. And their fucking balls, which have been blue since 96, since Pokemon fucking red and green came out, are about to burst because they think that they're going to see the next evolution in Pokemon. Bro, I can't, man. Like, I am... You know, honestly, honest to God, right? If you are a Pokemon fan, if you are in that fan base, I am above you in every single way. Just like anybody who swore off that franchise 15 years ago is above you in every way. Imagine trying to sell a product. Imagine just hitting Control-C, Control-V on the entirety of your game, changing out a few Pokemon, and then selling a dual pack of it for $120. <laughs> I mean, seriously, the mental damage that you have to have suffered to actually think that that's worthwhile, that that's a good way to spend your money. Who hurt you, bro? Like, what damage do you have upstairs? How, what sort of undiagnosed mental damage do you have to be out here shoveling money out to Game Freak so that you can catch these little digital monsters and gotta catch them all? That's how they hooked you. That's how they got you back in the day, man. They had the, t the tagline, gotta catch them all. Well, if you fall for that, I have a better tagline for you. Why don't you come on over to Dead Metal Media? Gotta watch them all. Hit me with the fucking ad revenue, dude. Because if you're over here throwing away money willy-nilly on trash games that don't respect your time or your age or your maturity or your fucking intellect, well, quite frankly, if you can't beat them, join them. I, I will give you a video a day telling you exactly how horrible the financial moves you make are in the real. And I will do so without charging you for the same products. Because unlike Pokemon, I innovate. Every single video is different than the last. Every single video is better than the last. I evolve. I mutate into a higher being with every single transmission that I put out to my people. Every single one, dude. Every last one. Pokemon fans gonna be in the comments. Watch these Pokemon, these fucking Pokemon losers gonna be in the comments. Well, you just don't appreciate Pokemon dead metal. I mean, I like catching them, I like battling them. There's intricacies to the battle system, it's a very strategic game. You need a high IQ. Bro, if you need a high IQ to play Pokemon, I want to watch your fucking mind explode with the fact that the majority of the people who play Pokemon are not you, you 39 year old basement dwelling virgin. 
but are in fact literal five-year-olds. Yep, those are the people that we're equating with strategic ability upstairs. These are the people that we're praising as being high-level thinkers who can come out here and just blow us away with their intellect. <laughs> These fucking kids, man, they still are shitting their pants half the time. Like, come on! Come on! You know what you're saying. You're full of shit, man. And here's the thing, right? Like... The Pokemon fan base can't even agree with itself. Some loved Sword and Shield, some hated it. Some thought Brilliant Diamond and Sparkling Pearl or whatever the fuck that shit is was a really faithful remake and others thought it played it too safe. Like, why don't you get your fucking fan base straight first? Well, not that being straight's anything you all would know anything about, but I mean, come on. Why don't you get your thoughts and get the collective opinion to at least resemble something defining a cohesive thought, a, a bit of unity, and then come talk to me about this sad state of Pokemon where this day and age, it's just milking away. It's honestly worse than Mario. Mario, the illegal immigrant plumber that's been carrying Nintendo single-handedly on his back, can now rejoice in the fact that a game focused on abusing animals and forcing them to fight to the point where they cannot literally move. They're so fucking exhausted. A game that celebrates animal abuse. I'm shocked PETA hasn't gotten a hold of this yet. A game that glorifies hoarding. Because let's be real, Pokemon, what do they do? You gotta catch them all, right? So the, I believe that this game series is single-handedly responsible for the rise of the TV show Hoarders. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And, and the Pokemon fans, they just cannot wrap their head around the fact that the franchise that they claim to love perpetuates horrible animal violence, perpetuates hoarding tendencies, and even if we remove all that, it's just a shit game. It is a shit game. There's this game that came out, what was it, a year or two ago called Tim Tim Does Everything the Pokemon Does Better. Uh, it, it's just, it's, it takes the formula and it evolves it. And by the way, by the way, can we address the elephant in the room? This big ass old elephant been standing here for 20 fucking years. None of the Pokemon Pokemon fans want to look at it. They're staring at the wall, hiding in the corner, Blair Witch style. They don't want to acknowledge the elephant in the room. They don't want to acknowledge the truth bomb that I'm about to drop that has nuclear fucking proportions. All right, why don't you all gather together, open your eyes, shut your mouths, and listen to this absolute fact. Digimon was always better than Pokemon, bro. Digimon did everything Pokemon did, but better. You know why you don't hear about Digimon anymore? It's because they hung it up. They realized that Digimon ran its course and they cut the cord. This is what Game Freak and Nintendo need to do. And don't, oh my god, the trash anime. <laughs> the trash anime that all you weebs like to jack off to watching Ash Ketchum attempt to catch them all. Uh, the only thing he's catching more of are those extended season contracts. When will this series die? When? My God, and don't, the, the generations of Pokemon, those of you who are out here claiming that it gets better, are absolute buffoons. You are ruining Pokemon for the rest of us, bro. Listen, the original generation was trash. Squirtle's a clown. Pikachu is the gayest motherfucker I have ever seen in my life. You like Pikachu, man? You, that says more about you than anything else, all right? I'm going to kind of step away from you. And, of course, who could forget that fucking retard Charizard out here blowing fire out its fucking mouth? I'll be blowing fire out of its ass, too, because, honestly, the only good thing I want to see a Charizard is its backside as it flies away. Down to the, the fucking pedophilia in, like, Jigglypuff? Like, come on, man. Clearly a pedo's dream over there at Game Freak. Um, just these ridiculous designs. Gyarados? What the fuck? Onyx? Uh, somebody got a fucking snake fetish. Oh, my God. What's that fucking, uh, the one with the tentacles? I don't remember the Pokemon's name. That is Japanese culture snapshot right there. You gotta have the tentacles, man. Only The only good Pokemon that has ever existed from start to finish, from 1990-whenever to now, is Magikarp. Magikarp is the OG. When I used to play Pokemon, I would defeat everybody at my school because A, I'm a legend, but also B, 
because I ran a whole squad of Magic Carp, and we straight dominated. We did everything we needed to do. Unlike Game Freak, Pokemon's dead. Pokemon Arceus is dead. Do not buy.